It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Gojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. July 9, 2020 Ephesians 6 verses 12 to 13 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy A noble character is not the result of accident, it is not due to special favors or endowments of providence. It is the result of self-discipline, of subjection of the lower to the higher nature, of the surrender of self to the service of God and man. The body is a most important medium through which the mind and the soul are developed for the upbuilding of character. The passions are to be controlled by the will, which is itself to be under the control of God. The kingly power of reason, sanctified by divine grace, is to bear sway in the life. Intellectual power, physical stamina, and the length of life depend upon immutable laws. Through obedience to these laws, man may stand conqueror of himself, conqueror of his own inclinations, conqueror of principalities and powers, of the rulers of the darkness of this world, and of spiritual wickedness in high places, Ephesians 6:12. In that ancient ritual which is the gospel in symbol, no blemished offering could be brought to God's altar. The sacrifice that was to represent Christ must be spotless. The word of God points to this as an illustration of what his children are to be a living sacrifice, holy and without blemish, Romans 12 verse 1, Ephesians 5 verse 27. Though surrounded by temptations to self-indulgence, especially in our large cities, where every form of sensual gratification is made easy and inviting, yet by divine grace their purpose to honor God may remain firm. Through strong resolution and vigilant watchfulness they may withstand every temptation that assails the soul. But only by him who determines to do right because it is right will the victory be gained. Prophets and Kings Pages, 488 to 490. As men seek to come into harmony with God, they will find that the offense of the cross has not ceased. Principalities and powers and wicked spirits in high places are arrayed against all who yield obedience to the law of heaven. Therefore, so far from causing grief, persecution should bring joy to the disciples of Christ, for it is an evidence that they are following in the steps of their Master. By Ellen White, Mount of Blessings, pages 29-30. Our prayer for you today. Our Father in Heaven, once again, we approach your divine and holy presence with utmost awe and reverence because you are all-powerful, who created us, human beings in your own image. Today, we are helpless without putting on us your whole armor to give us protection from the relentless attacks by the evil forces around us. 
Once again thank you for answering our prayer because we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.